I got my scissors here. It's time for the first cut. Here we are at 19 inches. This is 19 inches of hair. And we are going to make a cut right here. Okay, right in here. Get on top and Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Regala Monet. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're old or new, go ahead and hit that like button because I know you're gonna like it. So today is a monumental video, at least for me, because I've never cut my hair. I've of course gotten trims. I've gotten it cut in layers once, but I've never really had like length cut off my hair. And so today's the day that I'm doing that. And I've gotten this question a lot, like, why are you gonna cut it? It looks healthy. What? Why? It doesn't make any sense. Why are you doing this? <laughs> so the first reason I'm doing this is because I just feel like it, you know? Ever got that feeling like in your gut, you like, you know what? I gotta do that. And then you do it. I get that feeling a lot. So if you ever see me doing something random on here, it's cause I saw it and I felt like I had to do it. And so I did it, but um, yeah, so reason number one, I just, I don't know, something in me is ready to just do it. Reason number two is, in the middle of my hair, I guess it like broke off some, so the middle of my hair is broken off, I mean it's not super broken off, but it's broken off, so I'm gonna show y'all a little more about what that brokenness looks like, so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Alright, so I've scooted down some so that you guys can see. But this is like the middle of my hair, and as you can see, it's thick coming from the root all the way up, all the way up. And then you get about like here. You get about here, and then you can tell like, look how thin the end is, and it just keeps getting thinner. So I don't know if I don't take good care of the middle of my hair, I neglect that part, or what's happening. So we're gonna get all this dead, brokenness whatever it is we're gonna get all this cut off and we want the rest of the hair to match the length so that was reason number two because the middle of my hair is not compliant with the rest of the hair it just it's not gonna work and reason number three is even though the rest of my hair isn't damaged that much like it's, it's not damaged I haven't put heat on it in over a year almost a year and a half um, and I've been cutting slowly, like doing trims more often than I should. So my hair is, is pretty, it's in pretty good, you know? I could use a trim right now, but that's okay. We're gonna take care of all of that with this cut. So that was reason number two. Wait, no, what was I saying? Reason number one, I just feel like it. Reason number two, the middle is non-compliant. On oh, reason number three, yeah. Even though my hair is pretty much healthy, I feel like, the ends of my hair or like the bottom half quarter whatever I feel like it's been through a lot like it's been on my head for a long time years at least I think yeah it's been on my hair for years at least I've done a lot of twist outs I've done a few braid outs I've done a few box braids some blow drying it's done a lot of styles like it's it's been through a lot so I think it's time to just put it to rest. You know how you put a dog to, s maybe that wasn't a good example, but you know how you put something to sleep when it's, it's been through a lot? So I'm gonna put this hair to sleep. And yeah, so how am I gonna do this? When I trim my hair, but I do like a lazy trim and I cut off more than, I, than it needs to be cut, I'll put my hair in ponytails and then just cut off the bottom so I was thinking I could, you know, put my hair in ponytails and then like cut off more than the bottom, but this hair would be shorter than this hair and I really need to get the middle. So then I was thinking maybe I could blow it out, like blow it out as straight as I can and then comb it straight down from the middle everywhere and then just like cut across like that, like a bowl, but that wasn't making too much sense either. So then I decided that I'm going to 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna do this on wet hair. Y'all know usually when we get our hair trimmed, it is bone straight, we get it straightened, and then we get it trimmed. But I feel like having it with a deep conditioner in it, that's what I mean by wet hair, I'm gonna have deep conditioner in it. Um, I feel like I'll get a better sense of where the damage up here starts. Cause right here, I know where it starts, but y'all can't really see what I'm talking about for real. But with the deep conditioner in, you'll be able to see for real. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a deep conditioner in it. And then I'm gonna start off in the middle. I'm gonna start in the middle, cut what needs to be cut off. And then I'm gonna make, go out section by section and cut it to the same length. So yes, yeah, this is tedious and it's a very weird method, but in my head I thought it out and I can see it and I can see it working. So that's what I'm gonna do. So keep watching, stay tuned to see huh, how I cut my hair. All right, bye. All right, so we're back and I have deep conditioner all throughout my hair. Um, I just feel like it needed deep condition before I cut it and you know, it's my method. It's a method to the madness, and I had to put deep conditioner in it. So I have the middle of my hair, um, like the very middle of my hair parted off. And if I scoot down, then you guys can see all the way to the end. And you can see like where it starts to get small, like right in here. So I think I'm gonna cut somewhere right in here. But before I do, I want to, um, measure it see look at that see how it's all thick 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 and then boom sparseness so yeah that's why i'm cutting it so before i cut it i do want to measure it to see how much i'm cutting off um mind you this is probably the shortest part of my hair because this is the part that's broken off some so the other places will experience more cut more what more shortening it's late will have more inches cut off than the middle part. But let me get the the uh, tape measure and then, not tape measure, the measuring tape. All right, I'm back and I got my spray bottle and I'm just gonna wet the hair a little because it kind of dried up while I was combing out the rest of it. Wet the hair, take my comb combing out this middle piece which is where I'm starting my cut at and got that fully combed out now I'm gonna take my tape measure pull upwards and that stops there and pull upwards pull upwards some more until the very end and the end stops right here. And ouch, oh lord. The end stops right here where my finger is. So this is where my finger is. If we flip it this way so y'all can see. That is 19 inches and some change. So that's the middle of my head, 19 inches and some change. Whew, time to make a cut. Okay, so if I let it go, you'll see it's thick until right about here, and then it just dies off. Oh y'all, I am so nervous. I have about this much to cut off. Ooh, child, let's see how much that is. And stretch this out. Still got some there. Hold this here, stretch this out. This is where my finger is, which is at the eight, so a little less than eight inches. I got my scissors here. It's time for the first cut. <laughs> All right, this is probably gonna be on the intro. I think, let me say something. Let me say something good and catching. All right. Here we are, ouch. Here we are at 19 inches. Hold on, I'm falling. Lord, okay. Okay, good people of YouTube and my viewers and everybody who watching my video. <laughs> Here we are at 19 inches. This is 19 inches of hair. And we are going to make a cut 
right here. So we're gonna cut on top of my fingers. I can barely see what I'm doing down here. But we're gonna cut on top, slide my scissors right in here. Okay, right in here. Get on top and snip. Oh, my first cut. All right, let me measure and see how long this is. So theoretically, whew, if this works out right, then when I finish my whole video, all my hair is gonna be the same length, like a nice little even afro. So let's see how long this is now. Stretch it out. I wanna make sure I get a good ending place. And that is the 12. My new ending area is a little over 12. So we went from over 19 to over 12. What's that, seven? So I took seven inches off. And yeah, so I'm gonna use this piece as a guiding piece for the next piece and then use that as a guiding piece for the next piece and go all the way around my head. And I'm gonna come back when it's time for the last and final cut and see if we're at a little over 12 inches. Hopefully I do it even. If not, I can always go to a salon somewhere and tell them to straighten me out and even me up and all of that. But yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm back and it's like 3 a.m. Why do I wait so late to do my hair? I don't know, but this always happens. I just finished the last cut of my hair and it was this piece, no this piece, no this piece, this piece right here. So let's measure it and see how close I got to the original cut. So the original cut was a little over 12 inches, right? So let's put this here and pull it out as far as it will go. And it stops right here, which is a little over 12 inches. So right now it looks like everything has been done pretty much as accurately as I can do it. So all the hairs of my head going from where they start, going out where it should be, a little over 12 inches. So I'm gonna undo my braids and show y'all what my newly shaped, newly cut afro should look like. And yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is what my hair looks like, fluffed out, picked out. Well, I didn't pick it, I just fluffed it out. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like. I just feel like I'm such like, when do they wear afros, the 70s, 60s? Whenever they wore them, you know, I just feel like, that should have been where I'm at. Like, look at it. Look how thick the movement is. So, uh, yeah. I like my little haircut. But I'm not even going to get to enjoy it for real because school is going to start for me. So I'm going to put in some braids so that I don't have to do my hair at all. So stay on the lookout for that video. Hopefully I'll link it after I do it. So if you're watching this after I put up my braid video, then it should be a link right there and y'all can see it but yes this is what my hair looks like um this is what oh a high puff y'all know i can do like the cutest little high puff now like imagine a, a cute little puff like that and it's nice so yeah this is my newly cut hair i'm liking it i'm liking it okay let me fix it <clears throat> so i can do my outro so if you've made it to this point in the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 200 subscribers. Right now we're at 105 the last time I checked. So yeah, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a video. I'm, I'm on a roll this time, like no more six month breaks that I took. We, we doing this thing, but yeah. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share. Make it do what it do. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.